how did you uh, shift now into the acting in, in your in your career? How did you get into the acting business? Because usually, because obviously coming from a martial arts background and like obviously acting, because you get a lot of martial arts actors, don't they? You're actually the second actor, martial arts actor I'm interviewing right now as well. So again, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. But how did you get into the acting business? Did you? Yeah, it's an interesting question. Yeah, um, initially what I was doing, I mean, a good number of years um, previous, I had quite the nice sort of healthy beard. Um, and obviously I have a, a, an awful lot of tattoos. So what I was doing is doing sort of like modeling work. And that's kind of how I started it previous to acting. So I was doing those and photo shoots for barbers, clothing magazines and stuff like that. I actually was on a shoot um, doing a few bits and pieces. And there was another guy there as well. And he turned around and said, you want to try the acting with your look and your tattoos? You'll probably get some good parts. And I thought, OK, yeah, you know, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll do that. Anyway, long story short, eventually one day I thought, oh, what the heck? Um, and then put myself forward for a few roles. One of the first ones was a Hollywood movie, which I honestly can't remember what the the name of it was. The actor is famous. He's in the Suicide Squad. He kind of plays uh, a Rick Flag. He's the guy that looks oh, up. Uh, jo Joel Killerman. Joel that, Killerman. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so pretty, and he also played uh, Robocop in the remake. Robocop. As well. That's it. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. Him. So there's a movie where he, um, that he he would do we were doing at the time, um, and he plays basically um, um, a police officer, and he has to go into jail to infiltrate a gang. Uh, it's got Clive, Clive somewhat, the British actor. Uh, Clive Owen. Clive, Clive Owen. Owen. It's got him in yeah. it as well. Um, but yeah, I was in I was in that movie. So, and I was playing a prisoner because of the tattoos. It was my first sort of role. I, yeah, what the heck? And I had my lovely beard and sort of cropped sort of hair and stuff. <laughs> I went into makeup and then I came back out and my hair was buzz cut. Literally, there was no hair. They were bicking my hair and gave me this handlebar moustache. Oh, scared cool. me that much that I look in the mirror and I was like, I didn't like the person that was looking back at me. Uh, loaded with up even more tattoos if they could have possibly fitted any more on. And that was my first induction into it. And I thought, this is brilliant. This is so much fun that you're paying me for this as well. That That is a, a novelty in itself. You're feeding and, and watering me and I get to just play around as a character and you pay me. I thought, I'm in. I'm, it's sold on me. Um, <laughs> and then after that, oh, it was just loads of different things. Um, pretty much always the bad guy, always the, the prisoner, the murderer, the thug, the killer. Um, the amount of times that I filmed at Shrewsbury Prison, um, I think I could probably qualify as an inmate there. Because <laughs> I pretty much know that place. Is, is, is there a space? Is there like a little spot that this is Scots? Don't nobody's nobody's allowed to take a reservation here. You have to call them and book the reservation. Is it like that? <laughs> it just says Scott Cell on the side. On the <laughs> no one's allowed entrance unless it's me. And, um, it's, and it's tailored to your liking and everything. Absolutely. The mattress is just how I like it. Perfect. That's, that's, that's a satisfied <laughs> customer, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so and and that was kind of the first induction into it, really, was landing the first gig in a Hollywood movie. And then a subsequent subsequently went on, um, filmed television shows, television adverts, um, more Hollywood movies, and it just kept sort of going and going from there, really. Um, as I say, all the time, all the time, I would say 95% of the time, it would be a bad guy. It, because of the tattoos, it was just sort of a go-to, which is absolutely fine. I mean, I didn't mind being, and don't mind being typecast in that regard. Um, but then there's been a few other things where they've asked me to do something, and I've happily done it, and the tattoos have just been a bonus. So, I think really the tattoos and having that particular look helped me. It was almost my vehicle to it. I had my niche already. Um, so you take it to the big. You take it to the big time, as you would say. 
Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So I've had I've had the opportunity to work with some amazing people and some very famous people um, and been on productions that I could only perhaps dream of. If somebody yeah. is to me many years back, oh, one day you're going to be on this show or you're going to be in this movie. I would have just laughed at them because it was a, a world a world away from kind of what I thought would happen. Um, but yeah, and yeah, and, and that aside, I've met some amazing people along the way, like yourself. You, oh, thank you. No, yeah, no, seriously, you you meet so many different people from all walks of life and all different backgrounds, and it's a wonderful mixing pot of all these different people. So it's never boring whether you're on set and filming or you're kind of just waiting around in the wings um, or, or in the holding area to actually go on set. It, it's brilliant. So the, that, and for me, that was, the, the whole thing was a wonderful, neat package that it, it was just great. I got to meet some really cool people and I got to kind of pretend I was like 10 years old running around with a gun, shooting <laughs> or dodging bullets or whatever it may be. I'm taking Matrix is one of your favourite movies. <laughs> Matrix, yeah, yeah, I haven't had the opportunity to work on that that one, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, there's been some been some great ones. Yeah, because yeah, I remember um, I remember the, the day when you and I first met on the set. We were talking about because um, I didn't know that you were a martial artist. I'll be honest with you, I knew right there as an actor. It, was, it wasn't until I saw that picture of yourself when you were in Thailand. And training at the facility, I was like, what, Scott's a martial artist as well? I, uh, silly of me to not ask you that question, but, you know, luckily, better late than never, I got to ask you the question as well. And, yeah, um, yeah it, you were definitely one of the, the nicest people I had the opportunity of meeting there. And everybody on that set that day was just a gem just to work with. Yeah, it's, I think, especially whether it be martial arts or the acting and stuff, um, both humble you to a degree yes and that's it, true and i think that's wonderful so in terms of molding you as a person i think both of those things are fantastic because with the martial arts it, it's not a case where I, I kind of walk around and with my shoulders back and fists clenched and stuff like that yeah. oh, i'm a fighter it humbles you to the to the point where you, you don't need to say or do these things the best method for me is if a, an altercation actually happened i would wanted to shake the person's hand and walk away we may not disagree uh, sorry we may not agree on whatever it is but we'll just walk away if it was to go south and then things escalated you know that you have that confidence in your abilities that you could kind of finish the situation and then just walk away yeah. So it's nice in the sense that you can kind of kind of just be a bit more at peace with yourself and, and, and there's no internal sort of war going on and no no aggression because you let it all out at the gym and it's, it's great. I think that's why you, you're so zen like it's, 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 yeah. it's amazing. Um, and then the acting as well is you see all these great people and uh, not only in front of the camera, but behind it. And you're just in awe of what all these people are doing. And you play a very small uh, part within that machine, if you like. So it does, it, it can't, that kind of humbles you as well, that you're in amongst some incredible people. Um, and I think that's why I enjoy both of them. And for different reasons, but for the one main reason is it kind of gives you that inner peace. Both you know mentally you kind of just you're very relaxed with yourself um and i actually had this conversation with someone at the gym and i was saying that ironically the more you train as a fighter and the better you could become the more you don't need to sort of tell everybody that that's yeah. what you do you know it's almost the complete opposite like you have this huge skill set but you never really need to use it but you know it's there so you kind of just relax you're at ease with yourself and i think that's what i enjoy the most about it it's kind of very tranquil kind of in here and in here 